Hi guys, and welcome back to another video game review. Today we're looking at a game called Soldier Front 2. And as you can see, this is our our Marine right here. And uh, well, what can I say? It's a first person shooter. So uh, it uh, is free to play, so you've got to expect a lot of modified weapons, as you can see over here, uh, to be their cash shop. Um, again, you can go through and look at regular weapons you can purchase. AK-103, SCAR-H. Gives you a list of their stats down here. You can see what the weapon looks like in the soldier's hands. Uh, there's, you know, various cash shop items. And there's this Zethod, which is apparently a uh, player versus bot sort of thing. There's a training section, as you can see, right here. Let's give this a quick try, and we'll go from here. Graphically, the game, well... The operation has started. Carry out the mission. The game looks like it could do a lot better. But hey, let's not complain right now. Of course, this is time. Come on. Got the fire item. And well, graphically the game is a little bit left as up to be desired. But hey, you know. Not everything's perfect. Hit two friendlies there, unfortunately. Three friendlies. But hey. Get to the drop point, And there you go. So, what do I think of the game? The game... It's one of those sort of games that you'll, you'll play just to burn the hours away. It's not a, it's not a mainstay. It's not like World of Tanks. It's... One of those sort of games that uh, you just want to think twice about, really. Like right here, uh, apparently this must be the only symptom map that they have. You can, you can fight uh, AI players. I believe that was a player that I'd actually I have uh, that I just killed. Reloading. He's down. This is players versus uh, AIs, but. Uh, there are some players on both teams if you look see it's not just all about AI AI it's actually player and AI versus player and AI Enemy contact. 
Well, it's an LMG and it's taking forever to kill. But then again, you know, LMGs don't fire. Oh, uh, they do fire some large caliber rounds, just not. Now again, graphically, it's not all about the graphics. Um, my graphics card is, has recently of late been giving me issues, and I hope the video is coming across pretty good. Oh, good shot, good shot. I'm using the uh, M249 Parasaur. Reloading. Our force is down. I repeat, our force is down. And unlike, uh... Ooh, good shot. And unlike, uh, things like, uh, Black Ops... Where the screen will turn red. And various other things. Trying to be as sneaky as I can. Enemy strike. You got a man down. And, well, it's the sort of game I can see playing with some friends for a weekend or something. Still, you know, we, I joined that game a bit late, but uh, this is uh, Soldier Front 2. It's not a bad little game. Um, strong points. It's free to play. Uh, very minimal download. Apparently I just ranked up. And I got a wolf whistle for my chart for my uh, for my uh, for my troubles. Now let's go to the armory, and I've, of course you have to keep repairing all the guns you use. Um, you do get do get three weapon loadouts, so you don't have to worry about your weapon loadouts. Um, the weapons you own are listed here, you know. Now downsides to the game. It's free to play, uh, which means it has really crappy anti-hack. Um, just by simply googling uh, Soldier Front 2 hacks, you can find a bajillion websites that do have hacks. So, 90% of the time I stick to playing just against AI bots. That way, you know, the only sort of aim bots they're using is ones they're programmed with. However, um, it's a fun game if you can get a group of your friends together, you know, like a LAN party, things like that make a room, invite your friends, go at it. It's very reminiscent of Battlefield-ish meets Black Ops mo Modern Warfare-ish. Um, what I mean by that is, if you look at the shop, 
and you go to their weapons you know you've got main sidearm specials they do have a crossbow they do have you know you know knives they got smoke bombs flashbangs regular grenades uh, here you got you know shotguns light machine guns uh, submachine guns uh, sniper rifles and uh, assault rifles that you you you, know, you can up, up unlock and upgrade them for example the mark 3 uh, this unparalleled model may be a bit heavier but it features a high capacity of magazine so you get better better magazines with it um, some have a rank some have like this one get the mark 2 by getting 300 PS, PSG 1 kills you will get to uh, buy that with 30,000 regular credits now if we go to one you've already purchased uh, like this one yeah, uh, updated model may be a bit heavier but features high cap again once you get 300 kills with it you would be able to unlock it permanently uh, and this one has a smaller magazine but is means you can run faster again you've got various other stats like armor uh, luck luck concerns things like headshots things of that nature you got list of the, the technical schematics of each weapon uh, right here I've just got a friend request there we go accepted your friend request probably because I shot him, shot him a couple of times and this is how you can switch your selections um, of course all the gear gives you different looks as you can see you can change the look of how your soldier looks feels etc etc uh, are you my mummy? You can go with the, the gas masks. Um, things like the Ops Watch uh, just increase your luck, uh, getting headshots, things of that nature. Um, deep down, what do I feel about this game? I've only, as you can see, I've only been playing it, I'm only level 3. I've only been playing it for about 12 hours, off and on-ish. Um, it's by Arena Games, um, and it is a free-to-play. Um, I was asked to download the game and give my honest opinion of it, and simply this if you can't afford black ops and you can't afford battlefield 3 and you want a fun game that's very similar to the, both of them then give this game a try um, steer clear of combat arms um, I have been playing combat arms for an, well I've been playing combat arms for a number of years and uh, lately that game has just become a hack infested uh, pay to win since you know forever and um, Again, this game, like most of the first-person shooters, have made shotguns and sniper rifles completely overpowered and complete, completely underpowered LMGs. Um, there's a reason why uh, LMGs are used. Uh, the Scar H, again, you know, looks like a Scar H. The M4 looks like an M4. The AK-103 looks like an AK-103, same as the FOMAS. Uh, same as now, the, see it says Bolt 417. It, it's actually a Heckler and Cock 416. They've uh, got the name wrong. But uh, again, you got sniper rifles like the SR25, like the PSG1, uh, MP7, personal defense weapon, that is correct. Uh, P90, Chris Vector, UMP, these names are all real. Uh, the K3 is real. Uh, there's the L86. I uh, should be used to that. And that's another thing. Uh, you can actually go to gear and actually buy yourself the SAS officer skin. So you can actually be an SAS officer or the French IGI Gen or the uh, Mexican uh, GAFE or the uh, Korean UDT Special Forces or Delta Force. Now, anybody who knows the SALT knows that the Delta Force IGI. I, GIGN and GAFE are all based off the British SAS. Why? Because the British SAS was the very first elite commando unit, plain and simple. Um, that's just it, they were the first. And Delta Force based themselves on them, IGIGN based themselves on them, GAFE based themselves on Delta, who are based on SAS. Uh, the only special forces that are not based around the SAS's training is the UDT which is the Korean uh, this, the Korean Special Forces uh, they're influenced by the Navy SEALs who are influenced by Delta who is influenced by the SAS correction they're all influenced by the SAS <laughs> um, but uh, there is no female avatars you can't be female you can only be male unfortunately um, and to enlist it is uh, 20,000 
and he's mine forever. See, you'd be unlocked forever. So I'll be an enlisted SAS officer instead of a Delta Force officer, which you can see right here. Mr. CIA wannabe spook. Um, as I said, the game is fun, but like all, all games, it's funner if you play it with friends. And if you have some friends that, you know, uh, uh, wanting to shoot the shit, pardon the phrase, and they've got nothing better to do, have them create a, a, a Steam, have they've, and they've got Steam, have them download this, use your Steam account, log in, have fun blowing each other up, pretty much. It's a good little game. Um, they do need to work on the recoil system. It's very eerie of... Uh, um oh, God. There's another free-to-play first-person show I used to play. Blacklight. It's very Blacklight Retribution, which is SMGs have more recoil than a, than a heavy LMG, which doesn't make any sense because you can stand there and be like, bah! you're shooting the ceiling. Um, they really do need to look at uh, their uh, uh, system. I know some of the guns do in real life have a semi-automatic feature, like the M4, M4 like the Scar H, like the, uh, 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 the M4, the 417, the Scar H, uh, M P no P90 doesn't. The MP7 does. Uh, the MP45 does, and the Chris Vector does. They all have a select fire mode, and uh, unfortunately, that's not in the game. You can't sl change select fire. You can't modify the guns by you know like you can in Black Ops or, or Battlefield. We can add a scope or things like that. The only guns that come with the scope are the P90 because the scope's integrated into the gun, as you can see. And uh, that's about it that you can buy by. Uh, other than that, you'll have to go to here, use uh, either RP or Steam or this TP gem thingy, and uh, go to the capsule section. And as you can see, that'll get you a combat axe. Uh, AW Tundra, which is a snuff rifle that apparently freezes the enemy into place, you buy with uh, ray, uh, basically uh, uh, AP points. And uh, there's a Scar H H O with a scope. There's an MP5 with a scope. M4 with a scope. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, if you want a modified weapon with a scope, you're going to have to buy it via this uh, 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 capsule thing, which I think's kind of s a sorry looking thing. I know for a fact that most of these guns do have rail systems where you can put your own scopes on it. In fact, I can prove it because based on the HK416 has a rail. I have an M4 right here. Oh look, what's this? A rail. Oh, what's that? Was that a fold down site? Yeah. On a what? A rail. So, you can do it, but uh, of course this game has certain limitations. It does use the Unreal Engine, so uh, older machines that aren't so graphically powered, you, know, you can bump it up a little. The graphics option is pretty cool. Unfortunately, there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, 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 FOV slider, but you can do a graphic slider, as you can see. Uh, I've got mine set on, on on I've got it set in the center right now. As you can see, you can adjust the sensitivity even when you're aim aimed down sights, which is a good thing. Uh, weapons additional attack request things like that I don't know what hero mode is yet because I haven't tried that that game format yet and you've got your miscellaneous tabs your actions keys your sprint uh, WW tap it twice and you start sprinting you can check excuse me you can change your audio and you can uh, select where you uh, want to save uh, video things of that nature and uh, yeah it has a built-in it has a built-in game recorder. Um, although I prefer to use uh, uh, what I'm using as capture software. And um, as I said, this game is it's the sort of game that I, I would I would say to my friends, hey, you know, are you doing anything later? No, why don't we try this and shoot the shit for a couple of couple of hours. But would I use this game to replace a big first-person shooter in my collection like Black Ops 2, like uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4? No, I wouldn't. Um, if my machine was low-end, yes. I mean, way low-end, like dual-core, 4 gigs of memory, 
and a, a, a POS HD 2400 non non Molex powered graphics card, you know, yeah, I would. Uh, I would say, yeah, let's give this a shot. You'd still get the Battlefield-ish, uh, Black Ops-ish feel um, without the price tag. And again, you know, this is one of the one of many free-to-play first-person shooters that I will be doing video reviews on. Uh, look forward to some more. Um, I do have another video game review coming up uh, uh, called uh, uh, Men, Men of War. It's a uh, real-time turn-based strategy game, uh, very similar to uh, Pox Nora. Uh, if you guys haven't, haven't played Pox Nora, I'll uh, do a video on Pox Nora for you guys. Uh, Tactic, it's a tactical turn-by-turn -turn strategy game, kind of like chess 40k-ish, but uh, it's set in a fictitious uh, what-if World War II scenario where Germany isn't the main villains, it's actually Russia. Uh, uh, Japan and China have teamed up forces, so you've got, you've got the Asian Isles, you've got Germany and England have actually teamed up, America is on their own, uh, Mexico and the whole of S South America is in its own nation, Africa is its own nation. It's actually quite a fun game because... Uh, you may win a, a certain map zone and in the next five minutes another nation might be trying to take it from you. So yeah, it's a fun little game. Look forward to seeing a, a video review of that coming up. But uh, my honest review of this, would will this stay in my hard drive? I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, I'll keep it on my hard drive probably to compare it to other first person shooters. Maybe even get some uh, future film footage in and splice it in with some other videos so you two can like a dare to compare sort of thing but uh, if I had a choice of, uh, of, of a copy of this a copy of uh, I, I don't know uh, what a Call of Duty Ghosts or Battlefield 4 I would say I, 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 I personally would go with uh, 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 Call of Duty Ghosts because I'm a big Call of Duty fan I have been trying to get my hands on a Battlefield 3 account. Unfortunately, I just haven't managed to get the funds together to, to purchase a, a Battlefield 3 key yet. But when I do, I, I, you never know, I may switch over to Battlefield 3. I've played Battlefield 3 for a little bit on the uh, uh, PlayStation 3. Did like it. Graphically, it was nice. Didn't think much of... Uh, uh, um, was it Ghost? No, Battlefield something or other. Where you had a scruffy beard and was fighting the Al-Qaeda. Uh, I didn't really think much of that version of the game. It was all snipers everywhere. Um, I'm, I'm not, I, I do like using sniper rifles, but I, I like to be in the foxhole with my fellow man. Hence, that's why I'm my uh, airsoft team's medic. But um, video review-wise, what do I think of the game? It's fun. It is a fun game if you want to burn a few hours. Uh, if I... It, it, as you can see, I mean, I've made clearly made an impression on on this person, poor bastard, and oh, another guy, Razor, didn't even see his friend request, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, but deep down, personally, I, as I said, if I had a choice of th these two games, this is the sort of game I would have on my hard drive to play if the Battlefield Four, 4 servers were down, or if the Call of Duty Ghost servers were down. But I needed a quick first-person shooter fix. You know what I mean? It's one of those sort of games. Again, the weapons loadouts aren't much to be desired, but then again, the game is still in beta. This is a beta, uh, a beta game. Uh, it's a bit buggy at times, but hey, it's beta. What do you expect? Uh, so uh, I'll probably give you another update on this video, on, on this this game, on once they start, you know, changing a few of the things, and. Uh, so yeah, Cobra Commander is going to sign off here with, with a keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. But when it comes to this game, the snake hasn't striked yet. That's all I need to say, guys. Anyway, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out.